Hi everybody, Johnny here. Let's make a game together. For this game, we'll need a piece of paper, we'll need a ruler, we'll need a pen, and a pencil. We'll need some playing pieces, two colors would be good, and a pair of dice, and something else. Oh, we'll need a bear. Let's get started. What we'll need first is the pencil and the ruler and we want to do some measuring. So if we hold the paper like this, come down a little ways, and measure across like this. If you're using centimeters, try to make two and a half centimeters or two centimeter measures. On this ruler, I'm going to start here at the zero. I'm going to make a mark at the one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. There should be six spaces, one, two, three, four, five, and six. Now I'm going to go down here and do the same thing. Here's zero. I mark at the one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Now I'm going to turn the paper, and I'm going to go ahead and draw the lines across with the ruler, starting up here all the way across. And then the next line down. And the next. And the next. The next. Two more. This one and the last. Now we want to do some more measures here to go the other direction. So I'm going to start at this top line. I'm going to line up the ruler over here on the zero. And I'm going to start at two this time. I'm going to mark it two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And I'm going to do the same down here, one of these lower lines. Marking zero there, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And you know what I'm going to do next. I'm going to draw lines across, joining those marks. So here are the first ones, all the way across. The next, top to bottom, this one. Same again, this one, all the way along the ruler, this one, here we go, two more, this one, and finally this one. Looking good, we made ourselves a grid, didn't we? Let's set it out like this. I'm going to use the pen now to outline the grid. So just the outside. I think the inside lines are probably enough. So if I go here, I'm going to make the big square in this corner, this corner. Then I'm going to turn the paper and go ahead and do from that corner to this corner. And then again, turning. from that corner to this corner, and one more turn, just like this. We have most of our work done. There are a few more things we need to do. First is we need some numbers. Let's go ahead and put a 1 here, a 2 here, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Same numbers down here. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And over here, let's draw something a little interesting. Maybe something like this. And maybe another one underneath it.
and another one underneath it. You can make these any way you want to. Make them as interesting, as funny as you want. And one more. The reason I put down four of them is because this game is all about four in a row. And this game is called Four in a row. So let's play the game. We'll need our playing pieces and our dice. What you're trying to do in this game is to get four colors in one row of four. So something like this. Blue could win if blue had four in a row like this. Or red could win if red had four in a row like this. Any four in a row will do in any direction. So that's all good. But now we need to figure out how to put these pieces here. So let's put these away for a second and talk about how we make turns. So this is how it works. A player, blue, is going to roll the dice. Blue rolls a six and a two. Now what's special about six and two is it adds up to eight. Now what blue wants to do is find every place on this grid where the two numbers add up to eight. So blue could put a piece at two plus six right here. Blue could also put a piece at five and three. Five plus three makes eight, so the piece could go here. Where else could it go? Oh, there's another place it might go. Four and four make eight, so blue could put a piece there. So blue has a choice of here, here, and here, but look over here too. Three and five make eight, blue could go here. Two and six make eight, so blue could go here. Blue's gonna stay at four and four, liking to be in the middle. It's red's turn. Red rolls four and one, which add up to five. Think about where red could put a piece. Red could put a piece at four and one, four plus one. Red could put a piece at three plus two, or two plus three, or one plus four. Those are all good choices. Red's gonna leave it at one and four. One and four make five, just like the dice says. Let's go ahead and make blue's turn. Blue rolls a six and a six. Six and six makes 12. There's only one place for this. Do you see any other places for making a 12? Six and six is the only place here that makes 12. So blue's going to have to put a piece here. But look at what's possible now. It's red's turn. Red rolls a six and a three. Six and three make nine. Where is nine possible on this board? Red takes a piece. We know six and three make nine. We also know that three and six make nine. Are there any other places? Oh, four and five, five and four right here. The other possibility is four and five here. So here with four and five, or here with five and four, or six and three here, or three and six here. What's a good space for red right now? Red's gonna choose the four and the five right here. It's blue's turn. Blue rolls a two and a four, making six. Where can blue make six on this board? Well, six could be five and one, could be four and two, could be two and four, could be one and five. What's a good place for blue right now? I'm thinking blue likes this spot right here, four and two. Do you see why? Look at this. It's red's turn. Red rolls a one and a five. That also makes six. So where could red put a piece right now? There's five and one here. There's one and five over here. Two and four are already taken. Two plus four makes six. But this two and four is not taken. So red's gonna put a piece here. Might not make four in a row right this way, but makes for some possibilities for red. It's blue's turn. 
blue rolls a 4 and a 5, which makes 9. And blue says, where can I put my 9? Well, there's 6 and 3. There's also 3 and 6. Where else? We also have 4 and 5, but that one's already taken. We also have 4 and 5. That one's not taken. Blue likes this spot right here. Maybe 4 in a row this way. Something might happen. It's Red's turn. Red rolls a 4 and a 4. 4 and a 4 make 8. So the choices for Red, 4 and 4 is already taken here. 6 and 2, Red could go here. Red also could go 2 and 6. Oh, Red likes that one a lot. There's also 3s and 5s though, right? 5 and 3, Red could go here. Red also could go 3 and 5 here. Which one's the best? Oh, this one's looking pretty good. Look what's possible for Red. Red could make a 4 in a row this way or 4 in a row that way. Blue's turn. Blue rolls a 5. How can we make 5? Let's see. 4 and 1, blue could go here. 1 and 4, that one's already taken. 2 and 3, blue could go here. Or 3 and 2, the other one is right here. So either one of those spots. Which one's best? Let's see, 2 and 3. Oh, 4 and 1's probably the best one for blue, don't you see? Blue has just one more number to get four in a row. It's Red's turn. Red rolls an eight. So red could go six and two here, or two and six here. That's looking pretty good. Threes and fives are possible too. Three and five, but there's a piece already there. Three and five over here, that doesn't help much. Red thinks this is probably the best spot. 2 and 6 make 8, so red's going to put a piece here. It's blue's turn now. Blue rolls a 4 and a 2, which makes 6. And with a 6, there are different possibilities. 4 and 2 are already, is already taken here. This 4 and 2 is already taken as well. But there's also 3 and 3. 3 and 3 makes 6. Blue chooses to put a piece there. Lots of good possibilities for blue that way. Look, blue could make a four in a row here or here. Red's turn. Red rolls a 10. How can we make 10 on this board? Well, look what red can do. Red could choose five and five to make 10, and that would block blue. That's probably the best. Let's see what the other ones are. Four and six make 10. That makes it possible for red to get four in a row this way. 6 and 4 also makes a 10. Uh, so the choice for red right now is to block blue or to try to get 4 in a row for red self. But this blocking also makes it possible for red to get 4 in a row, either over here or over here. It's blue's turn. Blue rolls a 7. Blue could make 7 with 1 and 6 right here. Or 1 and 6 down here makes 7. What other numbers make 7? 2 and 5. 2 and 5 makes 7. You could block red. 2 and 5 here. Blue could be in a good place here. Let's see where else. Blue could make 3 and 4 and go here. That helps a bit for making 4 in a row. Or blue could go 3 plus 4 makes 7 and win the game 4 in a row. This is the game four in a row, and for this game you need paper, you need some playing pieces, a pair of dice, a pen and a pencil, a ruler, and something else. What else do we need? Oh, we'll need a bear. Do enjoy this game.